I love to garden, and peppers are one of my favorite crops because they come in so many shapes, sizes, colors, and flavors. Each of these pepper varieties is the result of a plant breeder crossing specific parent plants. The crosses produce new offspring that will hopefully share the best features of each parent. Historically, this takes decades of trial and error. To speed up the process, modern plant breeders can use a digital map of a pepper variety's DNA. This increases the chance that their crosses will result in the desired fruit. Today, breeders can develop plants that hold up to change in climate and pests and help farmers conserve resources. So what is a desirable pepper, you ask? Well, that depends on what you want. Here are a few examples from my garden. This pepper variety is called roulette. It is a red habanero. I love the fruity habanero flavor, but can't take the heat. A pepper breeder I know worked for many years to take out the extreme heat, and now I can enjoy the flavor. Fruit size is also a consideration. Most of us are familiar with large bell peppers. They're sweet with thick, fleshy walls. But what if you made them smaller, like this orange mini bell pepper? Now I have a snack size pepper and less food waste than if I ate half a large pepper and the other half spoiled. It's also a great option to get kids interested in eating peppers. This small cheese pepper is a sweet pepper that is perfect for stuffing and serving as an appetizer. Plant breeding happens randomly in nature, but over the last 10,000 years, people have learned how to harness the process to develop new varieties. In the case of the brassica plant family, the result is a lot of very popular and different vegetables from a single ancestor. Many millennia of random cross-pollinations gave us wild mustard. It's basically a wild yellow flower you might see on the side of the road. But when plant breeders got involved, they noticed minor differences in this plant family and started working with them. The result is a wide range of vegetables you might find in the market that serve different purposes. These are all first cousins to wild mustard. There's a similar history of plant breeding behind almost every fruit or vegetable we see in the market or in a garden seed catalog. When you find something you like for your garden or your plate, remember, it was likely the result of plant breeding. Mm -hmm.